salon. <laughs> Why have you got that being honest? I just realised. Um, you look yeah. dirty. Bitch, you look dirty. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. Good luck, Charlie. Good luck. Signing off. <laughs> Transition. My favourite ship. Does everyone What's your name? Those? I want to see you guys kiss. <laughs> we are. Yeah, I'm like... Scandals. Scandals be like... Scandal alert. I just went to go for a wee and um, I love living with beauty gurus, honestly. Tomorrow. We're blowing up balloons. She's on her way home from work. We left it a little late and then Freya rang and said Are you guys eating? Because that's worth blowing up a balloon. And then I don't know It's not even funny, but it was funny. So that's this clip explained. Freya's on her way home So we've got to blow these balloons up real quick and then hide them. So, hi Groovy Gillies. I went on a date last week and um, this is out of focus, but And you getting deep? No, I'm not actually. It's pending. It's pending, but I don't want it just yet because I want to go on a few more dates before I do that. Just changed. I have changed. I'm no longer a whore. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, babe. Happy birthday, bitch. Chris literally just turned 12. It's Freya's birthday. Yeah. Woo! So true birthday celebrations have begun. We're watching Christopher Robin. We've ordered a full English breakfast and we're ready to rock and roll, baby. Oh, what a great time. <laughs> Happy birthday, bee. Oh, what? 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 Please, can we just light it just with fucking lights? <laughs> hold it, hold it! <laughs> it's a put it in the cake! It's pretty warm! <laughs> Give it, put it in the cake! Put, it, ah, in put it in the cake, it's gonna burn it! Hold it, hold it, hold it! 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 Hold it,
All right, so we're back from, um, where the hell did we even go? We're back from the shops and we're also back from Westfield. I'm just making myself, ow, oh, that's hot. A jacket potato in the microwave. I went to Aldi on the way back home and did a little food shop. I say a little food shop. I literally got so much that the bag ripped. Which is why I didn't film anything because imagine me, little twink arms over here, carrying two big bags of food. I took one bag thinking I had enough. I love I'm just waving a knife around. I thought I had enough with one bag. Turns out I didn't. So I had to buy a bag, which then split. And I had to carry my shopping home like a baby like this because the bag was literally in half. As you can imagine, it wasn't the right time to whip my camera out and be like, so everyone, we're just coming home from me, me, me. So we've come home. I put a chicken in, a jacket potato in, and we just waiting for my chicken to cook. And then we are going to go watch the new Aladdin film. And that's the tea. Right, Freya's making me run because the film started. And we're in our still. What way are we going to walk? Oh. Right, so what I was saying in the last clip is probably were making me run because the film technically has started but I put a chicken in the oven so we had to wait for my chicken to be done cooking. You know, first of all problems and all. But now we're heading to the cinema obviously to watch the new Aladdin film. I'm really excited. However, like I said multiple times, it's already started. There's literally like 20 minutes of adverts so like we shouldn't miss anything. 15? I think it's like 20, it's like 15, 15 20. To get it's gonna take us like 15 minutes to get there so we're literally fast walking. We're hoping there's no queue because that's what's gonna hold us up. If there's a queue in the cinema, then we've royally fucked it. If not, then we're fine. I'll let you know what happens. But I'm really excited to see this film. I absolutely love anything Disney, as you are all probably aware at this point. Hi, my name is Byron, and I have done no uni work today, and you're watching Gonna Fail Channel. <laughs> right, and we are back from the cinema, if you can't already tell. I'm in my humble abode. Basically, the film was really, really good. I kind of went into it with not much expectation, just because I like when they do Disney remakes and, like, get real people to act the characters. But I'm also such, like, a massive Disney fan of, like, the actual classic Disney films. As soon as they start to change any of it... Sorry, I just burped, by the way. I just passed it off as if I didn't. But I totally did just burp. So when they try and, like, add new things in, or change bits of the storyline. I'm just like, sis, no, it's not what I signed up for. And I feel like they didn't do that much. They added two extra songs in, which both times when they came in, me and Fred looked at each other and were like, no, 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 sweetheart, we don't need those. So it's a solid, how long would you say it's been? Oh, a good 40 minutes. This has been a good 40 minutes since I last picked up my camera and what we've realised in this time is me and Freya have complete opposing tips to absolutely everything when it comes to films. Which is not proving like good at this point because we've still not picked a film. Though, Freya wants to watch Charlotte's Web and I'm just like, no. Why is Charlotte's Web a bad option? It's not necessarily a bad option but I'm just not feeling it. But Freya's Web is a really good film. I think you'd like it. No, you wouldn't. Culture, that's why. Me and Freya actually do have genuinely the most opposing taste when it comes to films. The only films that we agree on is Disney films. Hi girls, so it is now, what day is it? Um, I don't know what day it is. It is now Sunday, oh my god it's Sunday, that kind of scares me a lot, not gonna lie. However, it is now Sunday, as you all know, I've said it in this vlog already. This week has been like the last week up until my deadline. Now, I've been super, super stressed, I've been procrastinating a lot. But this morning I literally got up and literally boshed out, Ugh, I hate that word, I literally smashed out. I literally did the majority of my workbook. All I have to do now is write a 1,500 word essay, go through my workbook, make sure everything's there and correct, and then it's all ready to submit on Wednesday, which I know I'll be able to get done. However, I'm just putting it off for a little while, and it's also so annoying because Haz and Anna are heading to Spain today, which you will see all over their Instagrams, things being leaked and things being shared. I don't know what I can and can't say, but we went to a trip in Portugal at the beginning of the year, and it's something to do with that, so these guys have been working on something so, so incredible for the past maybe six plus months and they're going out to Spain to like finalize everything and sort of launch it all and have like a party and it's just gonna be a fun time however I was meant to be going but I had to decline the invite because I have so much work that I need to do so you may be thinking Byron what the hell is happening in your life you keep saying there's so much going off now I'm just gonna give you a quick brief run through of my next month on Wednesday is my hand in and then my summer officially starts because then Thursday we're going to see Matilda in the theater with Freya which me and has got for her birthday and then Friday I actually have have a day where I need to film and edit as much as I can because on the Saturday in the morning literally like 8 o'clock me Anna has and Freya all get on a train up to Manchester because we are heading to Park Life for the weekend and then once Park Life is over on Monday I'm heading from Manchester to Sheffield because there's literally a week's time in between then where I'll see my parents before I then fly to LA and then I come back the day after Father's Day back to London for a week and in that week I need to film as much as I possibly can and then we literally fly out to America for like a month like it's a long ass time it's so funny as well because 
because whilst we're obviously in America, we're having people staying at the house. My friend Emily and Josh are going to be staying. I believe my mum's staying. I think Freya's mum and her friend are staying as well. Basically, our house is being used as literally a hotel. But yeah, that's the situation. We're just waiting for Anna to arrive. I don't know if she arrived actually. Someone came through the door. But if she did arrive and didn't come and say hi, she's a rude bitch, which is probably the case. Oh, hi, bitch. I literally just said it to my vlog. I heard the door go. My hair just, I don't know why it does this in my sleep, but I don't know why I possibly do for it to just wake up like this. Good morning everyone, welcome back to this vlog. So I don't know what the last clip I filmed was. Basically Anna came over and then we were literally just sat in the garden chatting for ages. And then it was time for them two to leave to the airport. So there were really no point in even picking up my camera yesterday and even starting a little vlog clip. However, that did happen. Today is Monday. I need to submit my work on Wednesday, so I need to finish up doing a bunch of things today. I woke up at like half past nine it's now 11 i've literally been laid in bed for like two hours just doing nothing but i need to get up i need to film today i need to edit today i've got a bunch of stuff that i need to do i'm waiting on an asos order as well because i ordered an asos parcel on friday because i've got nothing to wear for part life so i literally just added everything that were in my little saved section into my basket and placed the order i don't actually think there's anything in there that i'm going to be able to wear to part life however there's some stuff in there that i need for la and just a bunch of other things and it was meant to arrive saturday then it got delayed so now it's monday and it's arriving and I'm kind of excited, not gonna lie. Let's just get up. <laughs> my room's actually surprisingly warm this morning. It's never normally like warm in the morning in my room. It's always nice and cool. I think it's gonna be warm outside today. The other day I literally cleared my wardrobe out and did some depopping and stuff and look how bad this is. My entire wardrobe, apart from literally five things, there it's all grey, black and white and I've ordered more grey, black and white as well. So love that for me. I'm just gonna get a hat. I'm back and a little bit less looking like an actual hag. So I was literally just finishing up my cereal. Here's the bowl, it's empty, I just finished. And we got a knock at the door. So it's time for a little ASO bowl. This is the ASOS fossil I was talking about. So I thought I'd just unbox it, you know, on camera, be a YouTuber and do all that fun stuff. Look at this guys. When I was just saying I ordered monochrome, we've got a baby blue, we've got a pastel purple. Oh my God, my nails and this color, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little dive in and see what we've got. I remember ordering this. Oh my god, I actually already love this. I love, love, love t-shirts with like a thick daddy neck, you know, like a thick like choke me sort of neck. If you've been watching me for a little while, you'll know that I'm obsessed with this colour. So I picked up this t-shirt, hopefully it fits nice. We then have this cardboard box, which I'm assuming has jewellery in it. However, it's really flat. Oh, it literally has one earring in there. That's really weird how it's just like one earring. I then got this lovely cheap Monday t-shirt, as you can see, just a little graphic t-shirt. I've got a bunch of just plain t-shirts and it looks like I'm wearing the same shit every single day. So I got one with a little graphic on, you know, and it was also on sale at £7 from like 35 Right, this next thing is actually for... This next thing's actually the wrong thing. Um, this is not what they look like online. So I ordered these shorts, which are Converse, just some purple shorts, but online they didn't say Converse all over them. I love when this happens. Yep. Yeah. Definitely not what I ordered. So I ordered these, which as you can see, is literally just some purple shorts with one logo on. And I received these, which is definitely not just one logo. Moving on. Oh, I got this bag. Now, I really don't need a new bag, but I love the strap of this. Now, this is Weekdays, one of my favorite brands ever. I saw this bag online and I just love the strap of it. So, it's literally just a little bag like this, what you wear across body, but the strap's like got these holes in it. So, when it's on, I need to make it longer. I don't know, I just think that's really cool. Oh, that's really sad. On the photo online and actually in my camera, they look like a really light pale grey. However, in person, they're more like a creamy colour, which is really annoying. Right, then we have these lovely little cargo shorts, which also look a different colour. I actually think ASOS this time is really just screwing me over. I like the shape of these shorts though. I think this is the last thing that I ordered. I don't remember ordering much more, but a baby blue hoodie. Now, I have a purple hoodie, I have a pink hoodie, I have a yellow hoodie, and now I have a blue hoodie. That's what I got from ASOS. So I'm gonna try it all on now and see what I need to send back because probably some of it. All right, so these are the shorts. I do like them and they're really comfy. However, I don't think I like the fact that they've got so many logos on them. Like I said, I think I'd just prefer them if they were just like one little logo on or just none at all, literally just plain purple shorts. But I do like the color and they are really soft. However, I don't think I like the fact that they've got so many logos on and they are too big. So I need to get a smaller size. Right, these are the next pair of shorts. I really like the fit of them. I like the fact that that 
that's like a elasticated waistband and I also like the fact that they've got like these stuff on them and things but in real life they have like a green like tinge to them when I was younger I used to wear vans all the time and do you know when black vans get wet and then they dry like sort of green this is what like these remind me of like I really do like the fit of them but the color I don't know if like the colors the one this is the cheap Monday t-shirt I don't know how I feel about this I don't know if you can see but it's really like sheer like you can see straight through it but then again it was only on sale for seven pounds so like for seven pounds do I really want to return it I think it's really cool I like the fit of it love 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 the neckline but like I said I feel like when the sun shines behind me you can see just like where my actual body is apart from that I really like it. it's a really nice fit so I figured the straps out on the bag and this is what it looks like I think it's really really cool I don't know how I feel about this hoodie I really really like the color of it I think with a tan like imagine blue eyes a tan and then a blue hoodie I think that's really cute however it's really thin like it's kind of I don't know I don't know if you can tell by the hood like it's not too thick and I love like thick hoodies also I can appreciate how big the hood is because I've got a huge head so that like, I can literally put this hood on normally hoods are like this on me because my head's massive but this one's kind of big and obviously you can pull it tight with the drawstrings I think it was like 20 pounds so you can't really complain not gonna lie and last but not least we have this purple t-shirt which is probably my favorite thing actually I really really like this I'm trying to figure out where like what brand this is from ASOS Y this brand of t-shirts is really really good like the thickness is really really nice they're kind of chunky quite boxy it also has a high collar I feel like I should order more of these t-shirts just in different colors but yeah that's my little ASOS haul done I've packaged up the stuff that I'm sending back I am going to send these shorts back I'm going to see if they do a black version online I'm going to send the trousers back and I'm going to send the converse shorts back purely because I don't like how look like much logo they've got on them <laughs> 